Welcome semi-state university students and faculty. Welcome semi-state medical university students and faculty. Radiological Technologies University would like to take this time and give you an overview, if you will, of the programs that we will be offering this fall in semi. Semi-State University and Semi-State Medical University and Radiological Technologies University are going to partner up and offer joint degree programs in medical physics and in nanomedicine. In addition to that, as that relationship develops over the years, we have a lot of smart people working together. We can develop intellectual property, which may be software or product that can be used to help those individuals that have cancer or possibly other diseases. These master's degree programs are tentatively uh, slotted to start, if you will, in the fall of 2012. Some of you may not know what a medical physicist is. A medical physicist is the professional who ties the technical and technology, if you will, aspects of the radiation generating devices to the clinical aspects in the following fields, radiation oncology, diagnostic radiology, nuclear medicine, industry and research. Degrees uh, of medical physicists are master's degree and PhD for those who pursue research. It's a very challenging and rewarding uh, profession, if you will. You're helping save patients' life. You're working with new technologies. And it's very, very challenging and demanding for the mind. There's shortages throughout the world, which offers the opportunity to get out there and help people. Medical physicists, the functions that they work are clinical equipment selection, equipment acceptance, testing, and commissioning, equipment quality assurance, clinical process implementation and optimization, and when doing all of these, we always have to remember radiation safety. Radiation therapy modalities that we use to treat cancer patients include external beam radiation therapy, where we use linear accelerators and other X-ray generating devices such as ortho voltage units, brachytherapy, low dose rate brachytherapy, and high dose brachytherapy. In this picture, we show a steel cable with a radioactive source welded to the end of it, very small. We can treat cancer patients with that. Other disciplines that we use and specialty procedures that medical physicists are responsible for implementing include stereotactic radiosurgery. This can be LINAC based or gamma knife based, and we have over 16 years of experience with these modalities. The idea is to pinpoint and treat very small brain lesions that may be near the spinal cord, near the brain stem, or the optic nerve or optic chiasm. Stereotactic body radiation therapy is another modality that is implemented and managed by medical physicists. We have over 10 years of experience of training in SBRT, and the idea here is to utilize the same technology of small beams treating the brain, but move it to the lungs, move it to the liver, pancreas, stereotactic body radiation therapy. High dose rate brachytherapy is again where we use that small radioactive source, if you will, and we can implant it temporarily inside a catheter inside the patient's body. This image shows treating breast cancer. The balloon that's in the breast cavity will have a radioactive source that is brought into the middle of that balloon and deliver energy to areas of microscopic risk of cancer. You can also treat other body sites in addition to the breast to include prostate, lung, and gynecological cancers. So why is medical physics so important? Radiation therapy is one of the three primary ways to treat cancer. Surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy, or a combination of those three are typically used to treat cancer patients. Radiation therapy equipment can kill cancer and cure cancer, but if used incorrectly, radiation therapy equipment and radioactive sources can actually hurt people and kill people. So it is very important to optimize the technology in a safe and efficient manner so that we help the patient and do not hurt the patient. Shortages are national in the United States, 20 to 30 percent. This discipline or this profession is about 40 years old and the first set of professionals are retiring. We're catching cancer earlier. There's a generation 
that we will find cancer earlier, which increases the numbers. We have better technology to find it earlier. People are living longer. All of these lead to treating more potential cancers, and there's a shortage of professionals to do that. The same shortage and even more is noticed internationally in countries Japan, China, Chile, European countries, Russia, all over the world. We have an opportunity to help those cancer patients in Kazakhstan, and we also have the opportunity to outreach to these other countries. The RTU current programs are masters in nanomedicine, medical physics, medical dosimetry, medical health physics, medical uh, uh, dosimetry, and we also have undergraduate courses. To learn more about the specific courses, please visit the website at www.rtuvt.com. The graduate school model is pretty simple. It's a hybrid model of utilizing online lectures with live lectures from the faculty. So it's online and boot camps where we spend time with the students and they also get clinical training as well. We call it a hybrid or blended learning environment so that when students are brought together, they've already viewed the lectures, they can be discussed, reviewed, and workshops and projects can be done together and we can then better utilize time. Student profile examples, if you will, are engineers, physicists, and dosimetrists. Our the RTU professor profile are experts in each separate specialty area. They are very clinically oriented and they are applied research oriented. So you get very detailed and focused instruction and we extensively collaborate with vendors, other graduate programs, and other international agencies. The RTU faculty, again, is made up of experts throughout the United States, ranging from people trained at University of Wisconsin, University of Colorado, University of Kentucky, Purdue University, Purdue University MD Anderson, Memorial Sloan Kettering, and a whole host of visiting faculty from other renowned institutions in the United States and cancer centers. Recent faculty additions include Mike Staben from Vanderbilt University, who is leading the nuclear oncology discipline, and Steve Getch, who is leading the stereotactic radiosurgery discipline. These are two experts in these areas that are top five world-recognized individuals. RTU is excited to announce that it's the first university to offer a master's program in nanomedicine. This is championed by Dr. Renat Fullen, and we are very excited that we are utilizing his expertise and his collaboration with individuals in the United States and the individuals internationally to build the faculty that will lead this master's program in nanomedicine. It is thought by many that in the next five to 10 years, a large portion of cancer patients will be treated utilizing the nanomedicine technologies. This is very, very exciting. Now, the joint degree program highlights with semi-state university, semi-state medical university, and RTU, our master's degrees will be issued by both institutions. Students will earn a U.S. degree. Curriculum is very ex extensive and demanding. You got to have the passion to want to help people to be successful. You got to have the passion to take these technologies to the next level. They're two-year programs. First-year students will study in and train in SEMI. This would be Semi State University and Semi State Medical University. Second-year students will come to the United States to our regional campus in Clearwater, Florida. This is very exciting. This is where they will also do their rotations. Other highlights, um, they're basically the faculty of RTU uh, and the students uh, from Kazakhstan and surrounding international countries will be trained by the leading United States experts in medical physics. They will be trained by the leading United States and international experts in nanomedicine. And clinical rotations in the United States and abroad will supplement this program. In summary, if you want to learn more, please visit the website at www.rtuvt.com. You will learn more about the curriculum this summer. The U.S. model program in place 
um, uh, that we have in the United States, we'll be taking to other countries. We'll reach out internationally, starting with Kazakhstan, share resources and expertise, and develop product and intellectual property together. The bottom line is we want to save lives. Our passion and our core values to do this are clinical, clinical competency, clinical communication, clinical competence, and clinical compassion. We look forward to working with the faculty and students in SEMI, and we hope to save many lives together. Thank you. 